Greetings guys, it's Xboxer, and I wanted to amend my uh, last video on the MIDI Sport Uno device from uh, M-Audio. It turns out that the optical isolator um, chip that is inside this device is actually only meant for the uh, MIDI out or through. Uh, it is not isolating the MIDI in, the input that which is going from the USB out to your device. It only isolates what's coming back, uh, it would seem, because if I were to, uh, for example, I have my BNX3, which is connected to my setup over there, which is uh, in my effects loop, uh, and the power supply for the BNX3 is not grounded, by the way. Listen very closely, you'll hear a ground loop when I connect this uh, USB. My computer detects it, but now you're hearing a pretty nasty ground loop. Thankfully there's a very easy way to fix this. So what you do is, I'm going to remove this and the ground loop should go away. And now I'm going to use uh, a chip called the Olamex USB Isolator. Uh, it looks pretty homebrew, but it actually works very well. Uh, it is speed limited, but for uh, MIDI, you don't have to worry about it. I just got a short uh, USB A type to B type, and then you'll connect the uh, MIDI Sport uh, to this. So what we'll do is we'll put it in place, and all it does is isolate the grounds. And if you needed to power anything off of this bus, it actually has an external power supply where you can input if it requires some more power other than what the bus can provide, such as an external hard drive. But now, I should be able to plug this in. And I don't hear a ground loop. That is the beauty of having a little $40 USB isolator, because now, there's a no ground loop between the signal wires and the BNX3, which is going to the rest of my uh, setup here. So I hope this uh, helps everyone. Uh, I have to amend my last statement that the USB ISO MIDI Sport from M Audio is not optically isolated on the input side, uh, only on the output.